Well, hello again. We left off this one with um, we're creating a mod, and we had finished creating it technically. Um, what we were creating is a something that gives the player eyeglasses when they start the game, and that's the very start of the game, right in the tutorial they call Sanctuary World, right? In the very beginning of the game before the, and this is for Fallout 4, before the nuclear war and bombs and all that, uh, uh, right in the very beginning of the game with the tutorial where you're creating your player and everything, we're gonna give them eyeglasses and put them on the player. Um, and we did this in a way that doesn't modify the game files at all. Um, we just look for a quest to start and we create a new quest Creating a new quest doesn't, isn't really a modification of the game. That's an addition. It doesn't ruin anything in the game. So we create a new quest to check if they're there. Uh, if this a certain the pre-game is started and then give them the glasses. And we got it all set and it's all enabled in the game. So we're going to go ahead and start the game up and see if it works. Because you always got to test before you send out your mod and let other people have at it. Because even after you test, you test it, they'll probably find something. Um, you know, you sometimes you can't test everything. Uh, it's hard. In complicated mod, it can take hours and hours and days of testing. I, I, I've been working on one I've been testing for a month or more uh, just to see if everything's working right. Um, so it takes time, you know, especially if it's just you, a one-man show. If you have a team of people, you, know, you can organize a team of people, you, your friends, uh, other people you contact on the Internet. I can go faster. <clears throat> You'd become a, a small software studio at that point. But um, but if you're just doing it yourself, it takes time. So we've loaded, uh, you, using Vortex, I've loaded it in, enabled it here. Uh, we call it eyeglasses at start. And, uh, and now I'm going to um, try it out. To do that, we have to launch the game. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start the game. So I'm going to minimize this. Um, this is the... Um, this is the Nexus mods where you can download more mods and load them into your mod manager, which is what Vortex is. And so here you've got, uh, you know, this is where we were researching stuff on the creation kit of how, how we would add, how we would uh, check how many items there of, of glasses there were, add them into them, equip, equip them, you know. Um, we had the, we were looking before at... Uh, the equipped equip item. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm going to minimize this as well, uh, and I don't need this already. So now we're just going to launch the game and see if it works in the game. I'm going to pause uh, now uh, so I can get it set up because uh, there's and the game is a sequence of you know you got to start the game. It takes a while to load, so so I'm going to pause uh, and not have you watch that. All right, welcome back. Um, I've done a bunch of testing. Oh line um, and found out that it ends up putting the glasses on but then taking them off when you're trying to configure your character. So for example, if I run this, and you'll have to excuse that it'll open up in a small corner of the screen, but you'll be able to see the game capture fill the whole screen. Which you'll be able to see enough. Well enough. So if you say new you know it'll do its usual loading thing, look you on mine with a bunch of memory and loads pretty quick. So that's that. Um, if we go in, you'll see that, well, number one, that's weird, but you'll see it starts with the glasses on here, but then... You're going to knock him down at the changes. Metro Hall tonight, honey. You think? Gets into the next section Absolutely. To configure now your get eyes ready and, and stop hogging the air. It takes them off. So, that's kind of a problem. So in any case, we'll have to figure out what to do about that. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording for a second while I turn this off. I could just do that, actually. Um, and 
uh, so that's the breaks. You think it should be really easy, and then sometimes with mod making, it's like um, it's a problem. So there is, I mean, of course, trade-offs here. Uh, you know, in thinking about it, if you have your sunglasses on while you're looking in the mirror, or your glasses on, and they look like sunglasses, but they actually end up being glasses. But uh, if you have those on while you're looking at the mirror, then you can't configure your eyes because you can't see what your eye color is. So that's, you know, a problem. I mean, you can pick it, but you can't see it if you were able to have your glasses on. So, um, it's tough choices. Uh, you have to decide sometimes what is possible. So one thing that can be done is we could watch for when the eyeglasses are removed and put them back on. I'm not sure if it would then try to take them off again. I'm not sure how aggressive it is as putting stuff on and taking things off. So, uh, these are the kind of little testing things you just have to try and try things uh, and see what works. Um, we could try that and that's what I'm going to do right now. So we'll go flying back into Creation Kit and get into Creation Kit here and we'll go to Data. This is good because it'll show you how to load up a mod that you haven't been working on. So. Again, select Fallout 4 as the master, and then you have to find your mod. If you have a lot, a small number of lists, it'll be just the first one in the list or something. But I just, you can press the first letter of the thing and find it. So here's eyeglasses at start. And then you have to click this, set as the active file that you want to work on. You have to set that as the active file. So that's like the master file, and the eyeglasses start as the active file. So you have to pick it and then set active file, and then you can click OK. Um, except for the game loading, it should take a second. So I'm going to pause while it loads. Okay, we're back again. And uh, so now we're back in this mod uh, that we were working on. Uh, you go to Quest. Uh, if you click here and again with the E, uh, you can see eyeglasses at start. Here's our one small and you can see actually one of the nice things that they point out here is that you can see a little star that means this is something that's not part of the main game if you see a star next to something <coughs> uh, that is not part of the main game so this is uh this is uh, a good thing sometimes to look if you're looking for things that in your mod or looking at somebody out loading somebody you can also load other people's mods to see how they've done things or, or something see if you want to do something similar um, or maybe you're integrating with their mod. Um, that's another thing that can be done. I might have to do something like that possibly uh, in this video. Uh, but let's try this uh, changing this and equipping the eyeglasses. So what I thought we would do is a couple things. One, we need to, this needs to hear. And we need to have to give eyeglasses, but we don't want to stop. We don't want to stop here. I think we want to stop, um, only stop this quest after the we get past that menu. So I don't think we want to unregister right away. I think we want to change it, give the eyeglasses. Um, I think actually, if the stage is 10, I think maybe what we should do is we should register for a different event. So once we hit 10, um, I think we should register for remote event um, and then do on the player reference and look for on item unequipped. That's when an item is taken out. Um, again, you can look at that. Uh, by going to the you know, creation kit, you can look here in the actor script. You can look at all the on things, on item equipped and on item unequipped. Uh, so that's, I think, what we want to look for. <clears throat> and I think when, 
The stage is greater than 10, we want to do that as well, but we also want to register for that event as well. Um, so probably we want to do exactly the same thing here. Uh, and then else um, if ak sender is equal to mq101 and this thing will just do exactly the same thing but we want to get some stage that's greater than 10. I don't know if it's 20 or what, we'll have to go look it up. But at 20, we're gonna unregister for the remote event um, at that point, because we'll be done with this whole looks menu thing. And at that point, I think we can unregister for that remote event. We should um, unregister for the remote event on player ref um, for all item equipped and then we can stop the whole thing. So, right. So that's what we would do here. Um, and, right. So, I think we want the same thing here. We'll register for on stage set. We haven't hit it yet. We don't want to give them the eyeglasses. We don't want to worry about on item equip. Only after we've seen 10 do we then give them the eyeglasses and register if it unequips them after that. <clears throat> and then we'll keep watching to see if the eyeglasses get removed. Now what we need to do is have a thing where we say event um, actor, because this player ref is an actor, dot, and let's grab the signature for on item unequipped right here, this thing. So we'll want this, we'll just replace the whole thing. We're gonna put end event here, and we gotta put actor in front of it again. Okay, so if the item is unequipped, so the trick is here, if if the um, AK base object equal to the, again, the closed eyeglasses here, then we want to do the give eyeglasses thing. copy and paste that. Uh, we also should check to make sure it's the player, I guess, uh, just for careful sake. Um, so we need to, yes, yeah, the on stage set, if you look at that, um, you go back to quest script and you'll look at on stage set down here. On stage set has these two parameters. So we have these two parameters plus a third parameter, which is the sender. So we need that other parameter here. We need a um, actor, which is what we registered for, the player. An actor, AK sender. And we want to say if the AK sender is equal to the player ref and its eyeglasses, which is the object, then we want to give them the player ref. <clears throat> and that's that. Um, that'll watch it. Um, again, if they don't have the eye, if they don't have any eyeglasses, going to add it. Um, otherwise, not going to add it. It's just going to skip that. And if it's equipped, if it's not equipped, it's going to equip it. And if it's already equipped, then it's just going to skip that. And it's not going to equip the, the item. So this is a try. It's going to just, you know, re equip it if they try to unequip it. I'm hoping it just does it once, the unequip, and this will just re-equip it and that's fine. Um, the other option is when we equip the item, there was a flag to say, hey, the item cannot be removed. That might be an option. The first time we equip it, we pass that true flag saying, don't, it can't be removed. 
Um, we just have to make sure to clear that flag before we stop this thing um, so that somebody can take them off later on if they want. Um, so as usual, simple concept, but now getting kind of complicated. So this 20, we didn't know what this right stage number is. So let's make sure we didn't make a mistake here, which we did not. It's okay. So let's go and make sure this 20 is the right number or not. So let's go off and check that. <coughs> uh, it's not this quest. Um, now, we made a change to the script and saved it, and you'll notice there's no star up here. When you make a change to just the code in a script, it won't cause you to have to re-save the plugin. It rebuilds the script and saves it again, and then it'll just use the new version. It won't require you to save it again. So that's just something to note. So let's go to that MQ101. Here it is. Or ever change. All right, so we'll open this and the stages. 10 was player starts talking at the mirror, I'm guessing. Starts talking in the mirror, that's 10. Okay, spouse walks into flame. Start tracking spouse comments at mirror. Okay, no longer use, clear that. Shut down mirror scene at 18. Um, allow a player to what? Allow a player to walk in the house. Okay, so, so yeah, by the time they're walking in the ha house, yeah, so 18. If we've hit 18 or greater, that's, that's, we're, we're done, I think, at that point. So, 18 is the not one we're looking for. <clears throat> it says mirror scene stop. Okay, so all right, which means actually, if we wanted to, we could look at this mirror scene and see what is the craziness that it's doing. It's this PMQ 101. PMQ 101. So it's PMQ. Hmm. I don't see that. I don't know what that is. There's no quest for it. So again, a little mis mysteriousness there, but don't know how that works. But let's not worry about it. Let's keep on chugging on our theory here, which is 18. This is what we wanted, greater than or equal to 18. All right, so that's, we'll put that in there, 18. And, uh, okay, so what are we, what's it gonna do? Quest is gonna initialize if we, uh, reach greater than or equal to 10 it's going to uh, give eyeglasses to the player and then look wait to see if they're ever unequipped uh, so and if we haven't reached 10 yet it's going to register for on stage set uh, and if the stage comes up again and it finally hits 10 then we're going to do just what we have done on the first stage when we initially came in it's going to do that and if we um, we haven't hit um, otherwise if we haven't hit it yet it's going to let's see well if we've done this okay so it's going to keep watching this to see when it gets to either 10 greater than 10 or greater than 18 it's greater than 10 it's going to do this and then register for the unequipped thing and then it'll keep watching um, it's going to keep watching it's not going to re-register for the on stage set. So then it's gonna, you know, if it's looking at next step is it's gonna look to see if it's beyond 18. And if it's beyond 18, then we're, we're done with the whole thing. So at that point we can, um, you know, unregister for the events we were watching and stop the whole thing. So this whole watching for the un, on item unequipped here, that's gonna come in here when, we, you know, if it's the player and the glasses that were unequipped, then go ahead and give them and equip new eyeglasses. Um, we could change this to name this give and equip. Um, you know, I guess, I guess I should probably give and equip eyeglasses. Um, that would be kind of more accurate. Um, what's going on here? Um, it's more than just giving them. Uh, it's, it's the also the equipping of them. Give and equip eyeglasses. <coughs> So, um, 
All right, so we'll give this a try. See it, make sure everything's okay, everything's all right. Um, close this, I like to kind of pop in the properties if I have to make sure, double check, I didn't change anything, I don't remember call changing, nope, no variable. So uh, that's it, I mean, we just made a small script change. So there really is no plugin to save, you don't even really have to hit the save button. Um, it, it's the plugin's the same. The, the, there's new new quests or any objects added to this plugin. It's just the script file change. So you really, there's nothing that needs to be saved. So I'm not even gonna hit this button, it's not necessary. So I'm gonna pause here and try and load it up in game and see what happens again. And hopefully, maybe it'll just unequip it once and we'll re-equip the glasses and that'll be it. Um, but, uh, and then we have a choice to make because we may not want it that way after all, because then it's blocking the eyes. So the problem then becomes, okay, if you don't put them on during the mirror scene, then you can't see clearly while you're adjusting your character. But then afterward, I did already test that there, it did have the glasses after the fact, um, even if you, know, you put them on and equip them before the mirror scene, just as we were doing, they, after the scene, mirror scene is over, uh, then, you do have the glasses equipped on you afterward automatically uh, and everything is just fine. You have a pair of glasses, they're equipped on you automatically. You just can't see them during the mirror scene. So that's pretty good, except that it's blurry during the mirror scene. So that means that <clears throat> you wouldn't be able to see during that. Um, so then the only option would be maybe to possibly disable temporarily during the mirror scene that, uh, uh, the effect um, I don't know that seems more almost like a perhaps another mod uh, in a way um, somewhat um, and in fact probably uh, we want to wait for the mirror scene to be over um, uh, to, to equip the glasses if we're going to do that because then um, we're not really interacting with the mirror scene so you could have a, because I imagine that if you go into any other mirror scene later in the game, it's going to also take off your glasses um, as well. So that in itself might be a, another separate mod to, to just, um, you know, just, you know, to just go ahead and put, um, disable the effect while you're in the mirror scene. Technically, probably even a, a a patch to that mod is really what it should be. It probably should have disabled the effect while you're in the mirror scene. Um, whenever, whether it happens at the beginning of the game or actually you can have the mirror scene happen later in the game. So um, probably that's actually kind of a bug in a way in the that mod. It shouldn't be applying that effect when you're in the mirror scene. So uh, in any case, well, I'm gonna go test it and I will uh, be right back. Hi there, so I did some testing as I said I was going to and it does work. You put the glasses on, they get unequipped, the message uh, it detects that they were unequipped and it puts them back on. That works all fine. Uh, what happens though is you end up with the sunglasses or their glasses, but they kind of look like sunglasses at the beginning of the, the mirror scene. It, it kind of blurs your or makes it so you can't see your eyes. So that's not great. I did some thinking about it, tried actually something to put something that's not glasses and try and see if I could get it to work where I could um, fake the thing into thinking that I had glasses on um, just because I wanted to see if I could maybe get that to work. That doesn't seem to work very well actually. Um, so I think just having the glasses on is just fine enough. Um, I mean, you know, you can change later on your eyes, take the glasses off. Um, you know, it, it's not great because it's where you're configuring your character. Um, you know, it's it's not a perfect thing. I don't mind it so much. You can still kind of see the eyes a little bit um, if you turn the head of the character to the side. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, yeah, I, I think that might be the best of all the worlds. I was trying different things. I mean, I could have it so you can just get the glasses later, but it's then going to be blurry during looking at the, the setting up your character. So everything will look blurry until you 
you know, you finally, uh, you know, the glasses get put on you afterward, you know, or the other thing is, you know, it, another idea is just to have glasses sitting out somewhere that you just pick up um, and then you can see really well. So that's one thing too um, that you could do uh, as well. Uh, but, you know, actually it wouldn't be a bad thing as far as, um, you know, training the player and how to pick up things that are needed. But uh, instead of that, I just, I think this solution is easiest, I guess, uh, for people that are just have it on and they've got glasses on. So, so uh, yeah, I'll let me pop into the game and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, it should be starting up. There we go. One of the other ones I can be able to see well enough there. So you'll see that he's got the glasses on, and they'll go away. You're gonna War knock him down with the on my hunt. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the right. mirror. See, so they go away and then come back. So, you know, it's not great, I guess, but it is screen is clear, and you can see everything. Um, if you look to the side, you can still sort of see the eye color and look at the eyes. It's it's not a perfect solution um, because these glasses aren't clear. Um, that's, I guess, one trade-off of it. Um, there's an interesting thing is if you change hey, my to turn, the female guy. character, uh, I thought that the glasses might go on to her, but they don't. They stay on him, and you can still see the character. So I guess semi-decent if you're playing female characters, because you can still see clearly, uh, but not have the glasses on. And then after you uh, go and start the game, you have the glasses on and they appear on her. So, interestingly enough. So, uh, you know, it's kind of, is a good situation, because now it's like you've got a clear vision, but you can't, uh, you don't have the glasses blocking your eyes here. So, so anyway, it's simple enough, and I guess illustrated what the, this mod, what this mod does, I guess. Um, I think it's good enough for me as far as uploading it. Um, some people will probably think it's good enough. Um, and, uh, because if I put them somewhere that you pick up, then it's going to be blurry in the beginning, no matter what. And then later on you'll pick them up and then it will be clear after that. But, um, yeah, so uh, we'll move on in a second to how to upload and package a mod. This one is, of course, a very simple one consisting of only a script and a plugin file. So it will be very easy to package and upload. And I'll do that in just a minute. All right, so the last part, I'm not sure how I can get this done in the amount of time here, but we'll try, is getting this thing up there. So, and available for people to download. So you have to package it up. The most important thing is to gather everything. Um, so I would say, you know, it's part of it's, you know, promoting this and that. I mean, it's a mod. You know, if people like it, they'll download it. Otherwise, they're not going to. You don't have to. This is not a business most of the time. Most people do this for fun. If you make a big enough mod, maybe you make some money off it. I don't think you're going to get rich off it, but that's my advice as far as that goes. But on to packaging it, uh, we need to gather the files we need. So 
important part is to kind of create a really good folder structure. So I have local, which is everything that's on my local directories uh, for the mod. And then release, these are different versions of it I would have here. And sandbox is just stuff I'm playing around with with the mod. And publish is just other files and stuff I need to put in there for actually putting the mod out. So, uh, you know, which would be something like graphics and other screenshots or little things like that. So under local, um, these are some of my other ones, but um, let's create a folder under here um, for, uh, let's call this eyeglasses um, at start. That's what we're calling it. Uh, going to here, um, I like to create a new folder for 1.0. I think that's what I've been doing. Uh, yeah, so, um, so 1.0, that's the first version. Um, so you got to kind of mirror what the, so it's good to keep a shortcut to the Fallout 4 program directory, which is usually, I mean, if you install in normal places, it's program files, Steam, Steam apps, common Fallout 4, you can install it someplace else, but it's basically the top of your Fallout directory. That's where your plugin ends up going. <clears throat> and in particular, your plugin's gonna end up in the data folder. Everything's under the data folder. So after 1.0, you're gonna wanna create another folder called data, okay? And in data, that's where everything will go. So we'll go into data, and then inside of data, in here, so you see follow for data. So now in here is your plugin somewhere. So we're gonna just do ease, um, and it starts with ESP. I'm not gonna worry about showing you how to make an ESL. In fact, I'm going to actually just upload this as an ESP, and if people complain and don't know how to convert an ESP into an ESL, which is a very easy process, um, then we can, you know, make one of those, I can make one of those for them or something. Uh, invariably, somebody will ask for an ESL Lite because an ESL Lite is a lot easier to load and stuff. But we'll see um, what somebody says. Okay, so we're gonna, here's our plugin, I got to start. We're going to drag and drop this in here. Uh, that is, excuse me, uh, that is only part of the thing, though. We, we don't have any graphics, so there's a lot of other files in here. Uh, materials, meshes, textures, which is graphics. Uh, there's um, video, sound, uh, all kinds of stuff. But what we want is scripts, because we have one little tiny script, that one little tiny script um, that does that uh, one thing with the glasses. So we're going to create another folder in here, because we got to mirror everything that's there. Um, and they have some good tools that will let you do some of this, automate some of this. But if it's a small thing like this, and you don't really have to worry about it. So the underscripts you see here, since we put it in its own namespace, if you remember that from way back in the beginning, we have an eyeglasses at start. So everything's underneath here. So this is all the compiled code right here, EI main class quest script, that's it right there. Um, and so that's our script. So we can just, you know, what we can do is just take this and we can just copy this into this script right here, paste. Okay, so the other thing is you can decide whether you want to release the source code or not for your, your scripts. Um, people can't really change too much or know how it works without looking at the source code. I'm going to release it for this because I don't care. It's a small little tiny thing. Um, so what we're going to want is this under scripts where we are, scripts, we're going to want a source directory under there. So we're going to create source. All right, so source, that's all the code. So under here, uh, you're like, well, where is the eyeglasses thing? Well, it's all under your user, because I guess it's like user base uh, game scripts for the game and scripts for the user. So even under scripts, um, so you've got scripts source, and then under here you've got user even under there. So you need to create another directory called user. So when you go under user, and you look under user, then you've got the eyeglasses at start. And that's where our actual script is. If you do this and you say like open literally in notepad, uh, I pulled it over to where the screen is here. You can see this is our whole script that we had written. Um, it works just fine. Um, and this is our whole script. And, um, and yeah, that's the whole uh, the whole thing. Um, so uh, yeah, so we um, I, I did a little refactoring on it. I I, say, I changed it from given equipped eyeglass. I said just given equipped form, and I pass in the form whatever. The form is like an object. 
and it's the eyeglasses that I want to to add. So I can just say, you know, give an equip form eyeglasses. So that's kind of a generic function here that you can, uh, it just will give and equip a form. Um, and so, and so that's, I use it in the two plates. Other than that, it's pretty much the same thing we had written before. Um, if we were trying to give and equip it, um, and 10 and 18 was the two stages we were looking at, and everything's all the same. So, so this is our code here. So what we can do is we can actually just go up here, and we can copy this entire folder here um, into this user directory here. Paste. Okay, so this is what we're doing is getting this ready on the local here. Um, uh, so this is exactly, this is everything local. So um, sometimes like the local and what you release can be exactly the same, but you'll see that it, um, you know, it doesn't have to be. Um, so here now uh, we've pretty much got everything because it was just the one script and the one quest that was in the plugin. So at the top here in data, we've got the one plugin file and then down in scripts and eyeglasses start, we've got the uh, papyrus is the script language and EX is for executable, P-E-X. That's what that stands for and source, uh, it's uh, papyrus and SC for source. So PSC files or papyrus source code. So, um, so anyway, this is all we'll really need. Uh, for packaging it up. So let's go ahead and package this up. So you can use a number of different ways to package it. Um, for me, uh, so we're going to one point, we want to package up this data directory. Basically everything in the data directory we want to package up. So what I do is I just right click this and I say 7-zip. That's the one I usually use, 7-zip. Seems to be a common one. And you just say um, <coughs> add to uh, data.7z. So I'm just going to do that. And that creates data.7z. So that's an archive file. You, 7z is something, a compression format. You'll have to download that, um, uh, that 7-zip uh, program. Um, otherwise, you can use a zip file. You could just right click and say, send to compressed zip folder. And if you do that, it'll do the same thing, data.zip. And you'll have a zip file. And that works just as well. Um, but I just use 7-zip because I think most people expect that. Um, so you want to rename this, not data. We're going to rename this eyeglasses um, at start. And I like to put a V1.0 for what version it is. Um, if we look inside of it, um, you can say 7-zip open archive. You can see there's a data folder. We've got our plugin. We've got our scripts, our source, user. It's all there. Um, if we go, uh, you know, up some folders here, you can see here's the eyeglasses start executable. So everything's all in this folder, all set to go, um, and it's all packaged up just fine. Um, this is the minimum that you need to do to create a mod, basically, is package it up into a package like this, and um, it can be downloaded So uh, by somebody and installed. It's really just that simple. <clears throat> so this is, this is the mod right here. We're going to upload it. So let's go. Um, I'm going to have to open up a different thing where I'm logged in. I was just checking out the Myopia Simulator, which we're building it for this thing that's on Nexus Mods. So we're going to go to Mods up here. We're going to up. So you have to create an account on Nexus Mods. That is kind of out of the scope of this particular uh, tutorial here. So you have to create your own account there. So otherwise, you just say Upload a Mod. Once you have your account, um, upload a mod, um, then you have to fill out a lot of stuff. This takes some time. So I'm going to uh, pause while I fill out some all the information about what kind of mod this is and what does it do and all that stuff. So I'll pause right now. All right, so I did a lot of work behind the scenes. Okay, so let's go through this very quickly. Okay, so mod details is like it's a mod. I call it an immersion mod. Eyeglasses starts, mod name, language. I didn't pick anything. 1.0 version, that's my name. Gives and equips eyeglasses in pre-war sanctuary persistence post-war. I put a little description about it. Uh, talk about the blocking the player eyes during character creation, just a little note there. I don't have any of these checkboxes. None of those mean anything. 
So I went on the next page. I created this little screenshot so that it shows up and the little tiny thing shows that she's in the pre-war home with the glasses on. I took a screenshot in the game just so that they could see that, hey, that's not normally something you would see. She doesn't have glasses on. So anyway, uh, they wanted an extra screenshot. Don't really care, but I just put another screenshot of her head again um, in case somebody wants an additional screenshot of Nora with glasses on. Uh, so next, uh, I don't care about any videos or anything. Read me, I don't care. Um, initial version 1.0, that's all I put uh, for different versions. That's, uh, that's the only first version. All the stuff's like permissions, 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 permissions. I just kind of said, nah, I don't care. I just don't do anything with the thing. It's a little dinky mod, you know, so I just, I'm not going to do that. This is other required mods. It's just adding glasses to the player. There's nothing required for this thing. You don't even need to have the other uh, eyeglass uh, immersion mod if you don't want. Here's the file. Finally, I uploaded it. You, you just drag and drop it. Basically, you enter the file name, the version, description, and then you just drag and drop the file here, and then it up say save file, and it uploads it. So I already did that. Here's eyeglasses at start. Um, that's it. Um, so it's all set there. Um, then they have, you can write articles and lots of information about your mod. Not going to do that. It just adds glasses. So that's it. Um, that's the end of the thing. Publish mod. So I'm ready. Publish mod. You say I'm published my mod. That's it. It's done. It's up. I mean, I, once you have an account and you've got kind of, you're in the thing of making mods, you know, this is just, it's that simple. <clears throat> you publish something like that. I mean, you can go to mods, and you, there's a thing where you can go to my mods, and you can look at my mods up here, and it will show you all your mods and what whether they're visible, and um, it even says like how many comments and discussions, and how many people have uploaded, downloaded them, or voted that they like that it or not, or whatever. You know, and you can see you can see stuff about them, and you can get a whole you know, all kinds of information about it. But but yeah, I mean, it's uh, you know, so that's. You know, that's it. It's up there. It's just, I made it very simple. Eyeglasses start. Um, I, maybe I should move this text down a little bit so that you can see that it said eyeglasses at start. The little manage thing kind of blocks it. But anyway, I don't think most people get this manage button. That's only if you're the mod author can you manage it. This, so this, normally I don't think you get that button up there. You just get these buttons down here. So I wanted to avoid these this area because I know there's buttons down here. So I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny to have her behind her law degree and in front of the American flag and there, whatever. Um, so that's it. I mean, here's the description here, blah, 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 single quest, single script. And that's how you get it up on um, Nexus for people to download it. Um, and that's all there is to it. I mean, you can add a bunch of more tabs here if you select the right options. So, so for comments and bug reports and this and that, it has no bug reports, it just adds glasses and that's all it is. It's not gonna be any bugs. I'm pretty sure. There'll probably be requests about it, but bugs, I don't think so. Um, like, hey, can you make the glasses show up this? Can you show, have another pair of glasses, a different pair of glasses? There's going to be all kinds of people that would say stuff. But um, unless they message me and say, can you open up comments on this? I'm not going to put comments on this because it's just a little simple thing. So anybody can make this in five minutes. or Well, not five minutes. I guess I've spent uh, a good part of uh, three or four hours explaining it. But... Once you get into making mods, I could have made this a lot faster if I didn't have to explain everything while I was making it. Um, so, but that's okay. We're here teaching people things, and I'm glad that I got to show you guys how to make a mod from start to publishing. Uh, and I hope this has been informative of you for getting started. Uh, either it'll motivate you to create your first mod, or it will dissuade you and say it's way too much effort, and I don't want to go through all that effort to try and figure out all that stuff. Um, it's up to you. It's it's a lot of fun when you get into it, um, but that's uh, that's all how it is for uh, creating your first mod here. All right, take care, and uh, see you later. Bye.